Hello and welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa where the big stories live. Tea Time is an entertainment analysis show that analyzes and breaks down everything pertaining the entertainment scene. And we only talk about big stories, unfortunately. But so if it's big, we'll talk about it. And when I say we, I mean my, my team, my squad, my gang, my gang gang, if I lost your And up. Neymar, how's Thank it going, you people? Are looking Good. very subtle this morning. Subtle? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. You like that? Can work. You like I think it's English. because, you know, before she had the whole hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was giving us some, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. red carpet So what events. happened? What happened? What happened? This thing wig down. What happened? You should tell us. Felt like you two, what happened what with your... You didn't, you didn't give your hair no, down? No, more. <laughs> that stuff is not easy. Did they tell you the kind yeah. of heat that goes on in that place? <laughs> no, they didn't tell me. But, but I can imagine, yeah. you know, yeah. Mm. I like my dreads, please. Well, you, yes, you guys look nice. I think we all look Thank nice together you. today. Oh, do Isn't I? It? Thank you very much. Ah, first time, if I give me compliments. I don't let me take it back. <laughs> <laughs> don't let me take it back. If I actually give me compliments. I give you compliments when you when you, you deserve it. I Hardly always deserve it. Savage. That's not true. Since she's always, always serving. Savage. She's always <laughs> serving. Oh As in, she's even savage. my mom keeps asking me, should toast if I could and she fed toast if I could burn the old bunny. Like, did you toast me and I did not? You didn't tell your mom that that's the nature of our love for Ever and ever. That's how it's gonna be. Yeah. A love hate relationship. They must take it like that. And there's no a history. A thin line between love and hate. Period. Mm. Period. It's too much ife, ife, too much love. That's how it happens when mm. it's like, mm, you know, like it's too that. much. This love is too much. Let you understand? Let's small. just scatter the whole thing. Mm. What, what's the meaning of this safe? <laughs> yeah. Kind of thing. But tomorrow is Friday. I'm excited about that. Yeah, am I? So excited. You know what? Uh, am I excited about Friday? You're not? Um, I'm not really excited about mm. it, but I know Friday will happen. Okay, I feel do you. you get that kind of thing? Yeah. Okay, do you think you'll be excited? when it happens I don't think I would be because then Saturday will happen <laughs> <laughs> what is this man saying <laughs> uh, would you want to ask I, about I Saturday like, I feel like no. I understand you're saying that Saturday is work here yeah? No, Saturday okay. would happen in the sense that something better is going, going to happen on Saturday okay, right. oh, so are you excited yeah. about Saturday Kind of. But Sunday's going to happen. Sunday's going to happen. But Sunday is work. Okay, okay, okay. 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 All right. Okay, we have a trending video for you guys before we start the conversations of the day. So let's just look at that really quickly. So one thing I've noticed recently is that, you know, I'll be scrolling on TikTok and Instagram and maybe I'll see a post like this and normally it'll be like a birthday post. You know, good looking guy, good picture. And, and the caption will say, man, shout out to my friends and family for coming out to celebrate my 22nd birthday. Huh? I'm like, 22nd of what? I'm even looking at my calendar, like, ah, today's not 22nd, why would he say such thing? So, somebody can be looking mature like this in today's world, and you're only 22. Or I'll see a post like this, and it'll say, man, God is good, I'm grateful to see year 18. 18 of what? Ah, 18 years in business, or is it 18 years you are in prison? I I'm not understanding. So you mean to tell me that since you left your mother's womb until now, only 18 years has passed, only. Let me tell you, you see me, I like to, I face my front. I face my front because what are you people eating? What are you eating that is causing you to mature like this? So it's like you people, you don't eat organic at all. You just, everything, hormones, hormones. Hey, you wake up in the morning, you are making hormone smoothie. At this point in my life, eh? If you are not looking mature like this, please don't talk to me. Okay? At least when I see him and I think of the way you people are aging, I can say at least this one is 28, 29. Or this one, uh huh. Mm -hmm. This one is 30, 31. I need to know that you have had some stress in your life. Let me tell you. You see this, your headline. If he's still here and eh, when you approach me, please go away from me. Go away from me, you are too young. For me to know that you're old enough for me, I need to know that that line, it has traveled. You see this part of your shirt, eh? I need to know that your hairline and this part of your shirt, they are in close fellowship. They are in close communion. Because I'm not understanding how you people are aging. Because next thing you know, you see a picture like this, and the caption will say, my mommy said you people should wish me happy 15th birthday. Please, I don't want. Everybody should just, just face your front, I beg. I just feel like she's speaking to them <laughs> not bet young. <laughs> like, you don't feel like some proper not bet oh, young, no. you know? But have you noticed, though, that everybody's lying about their age? I feel like even yeah. in Big Brother, we saw that a lot. 
Why? Small thing, I'm 21. Like, even Tasha's age is still some national phenomenon that we don't understand because she's been 21 <laughs> for six years or so. Even Lucy, too. Lucy says she was 20 some. I don't know. There was Everybody, everybody seems was to be. Lying. Before, we, we used to see that with the football Footballers. people. Yeah. yeah. Oh, myself, I'm 16. I don't try it. Eh? I mean, is it for me? So you actually can believe me because I'm. Yeah. yeah. One, one, me, one. 16, thank you. She said she's 16. You can't believe now if you're my 16. Why not? Even your age, She's I don't young. believe. I'm 12. <laughs> I know your age, but I'm still, I still do not believe. <laughs> but guys, but you guys know, right? You guys know <laughs> on this table that yeah. I'm the youngest. <laughs> Even no, though I used to face no. to Asian of days vibes all day. No, 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 the oh, fact oh, that you not born the then. Were you not born? Are you, not born? Oh, are you serious? How okay. How old is he very late? Honestly. Oh my. Don't you be acting here. You're actually you're, 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 you're wait, 20 wait. years older no, than us. I've never lied about my age. I'm you're only Asian. 26. 26, baby. I don't believe that. Oh, you you don't know his age? No. Uh-uh. I'm 26 years He's old. He's not like he's early 40s. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even say early 40s. She said late 40s, you know? Then. Why are you not born then? I'm like, uh-uh. Bro, did we'll, did I, we'll talk about I, some 1994 I, thing. He'll be like, like, he'll feel be like, I was, I was already like Wait, paying I already rent <laughs> for people when that song came out. <laughs> so relax, okay? Relax. Did I give you guys the gist <laughs> of like... Last week, you know, you know I'm a whiskey fan and a whiskey stan. And then I was driving My to... whiskey. <laughs> and, I, and I was driving to work with, you know, a youngin. And I also said to him, like, it was about the whole battle thing. I can't remember who it was. I think it was 50 Cent and one person. It was 50 Cent and Kanye West. And we're talking about Drake and Donda and okay. why they were doing it. And I was talking about how Kanye West did the same thing with Drake. Yeah. And then the guy was like, ah, 50 Cent. And I know the only person where Kanye don't get beef with nah. Pushat, now Pushat C and Drake and everything. So I went on Google straight up and I was like, yeah, in 2007, Drake <laughs> and 50 Cent, no, I said Kanye West and 50 Cent dropped their album on the same day and in which we saw Kanye win that battle and all of that. Girl, the guy don't look at me, don't look back. Okay, I was in front, right? No, okay, he was driving my car. So he looked back, he said, bros, 2007, I wasn't even born. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, are you for real? <laughs> and this guy just said to me that, no, we see they never bomb me, but what do I know about Drake? <laughs> <laughs> what do I know about Drake and Kanye West that year? Yeah, 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 <laughs> like, for sure. I'm like, whoa. For sure. Oh, seven. I mean, I was there arguing, like I was giving him fun. No, but sometimes that like, yeah. you talk about stuff that I'm just like, that's I like a lifetime ago. Like, no, you talk about that. <sighs> yeah, they happen now. Oh, sometimes, you know, you know me say they don't bomb me. I can tell you about Fella Comfort. Uh, excuse me, yeah, they, they don't bomb me, Mr. Bond. <laughs> they don't bomb me. <laughs> You're old. <laughs> You're lying to us here. Uh, mm -hmm. But do you, do you ever experience what she was talking about, where yes. like people are, they look um, older. older. It, yeah, it happens a lot. You Does it? For with men, I, I see yeah, it's, even I see girls. Something. No, I know girls actually. I know girls, ah. but I feel like girls when it's because of the wigs and the makeup. Mm -hmm. But I feel like with men, with men nothing. Even when you're like big, yeah, I can still tell that you're a kid. Mm. No, I, I feel like I can tell sometimes that. Sometimes you can't. You no, know, sometimes you can't. Sometimes oh, you can't, but sometimes you can't. There's some people that go to my the gym. One I know, the one the one I know I can say is that you can you can be <laughs> you, you can look tell. younger, like you can see like a man in his thirties that ages really well. Like you can mm. say he's 26, 27. I mean, yeah. But when it, uh, Thank like, you. Just talk about uh, me. No. Just talk but about when you me. when you talk about like eighteen year olds or whatever that that look grown, you can still kind of see mm. the some age them, in their know? face. Mm. Ah, so I, I think that, when they open their mouth, ah, that you sure. know that oh, this but guy is sure, because child. you guys know me, because most but times when I meet girls, less, if <laughs> when I meet girls and I'm like, I'm asking them, how old do you think I am? They, they, they usually stop for 28 marks, so. Then they pass on. They're whining you, Faye. They're not they're whining, whining you. They're not. Oh. Guys, they know, they, they are you telling me I look 45? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't That's me, 47. Come on, come here, I'm oh, 47. Oh, <laughs> and I'm just two years, he's just two years older than me. Can you tell the difference? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Please. Um, <laughs> before we start age shaming anybody mm. in this city, I will not stand for that. I will not either. on this show. Anyways, anyways, I just want to take it back to a lot of men. I don't want to call names, you know, there are some people that are minis and, you know, timmies and um, timid people that they just want to go for younger girls. Yeah, millets. 
Uh, oh, I did not. Ah. I said there are people so that. I was like, I, so you cannot get me late, if eh? huh? You cannot get me late. I don't get people late anymore. <laughs> see, <that. laughs> see, eh? Please. I don't even see it. Eh? Let's get lit. It's a better word. Let's get lit. I don't get me late. Don't get me late. Let's get lit. Are we getting lit? No. Are you getting That's lit? Okay. Do you want to get <laughs> lit? Do you want exactly. to get lit? That's a proper question. Do you want to get lit? I want to yeah, get lit. I want to get lit. Uh -huh. mm. Consent. I want to get yeah. lit. Uh -huh. uh, ah. you don't do. So at the end of the day, right? Get me lit is actually. Ife. Oh wow. Mm. Okay. Yeah, going deep. Oh yeah, sorry. Ife. Oh yeah, sorry. So we talked about me, this before. Let's move on. For me, right? I just feel like it goes a lot to the men as well. You see a lot of women looking, you know, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Stuff. But what a lot of men fail to do is ask, "How old are you?" Which mm. is something I never fail to do. No matter how lit you are looking, no matter how dope you're looking, I'll still ask you, how old are you? Then they'll say, I never had to go women that hate. Ah, uh, because ask, ask, who are oh, you? Ask, why you not ask me? Yeah. Because then if you lie about your age, that's on you. Yeah. You can't yeah. for that, for yeah. sure. Like, yeah. I, I remember when when I went to Abuja to go and do this, I was talking about some stuff at the Ministry of Education, mm. and some guy, well, no, this was not, the, was this the dress I was wearing? I actually think it was a dress I was wearing, which is just fantastic. It's not even that short. Anyway, this guy was coming to me and said, I was not even going to his office, so I entered another office and he was like, come here, come here, come here. Why are you wearing this kind of clothes? Yeah. In this kind of gineco? Da, 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 da. I was keeping quiet, I was keeping my cool, because I'm one minute away from being abnormal. So I was yeah. like, let me know, this is not my city, let me just, do I need to do and leave? And then he was like, no, 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 you have to go back home now. I was uh -huh. like, so Whoa. already, that means you're already looking at me like, I'm a, like, like a, I'm child. a child that you can yeah. go and be telling me to go and dress up or whatever. So then I said, okay, okay, but I'm not going to do that. It's like I'm not gonna go back home. And I said, no, 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 you're gonna go back home. We can't be dressing like this. Da, 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 da. Uh -huh. And I said, excuse me, like, what's the issue exactly? Are, are you sexualizing my outfit? Mm. Because already you're using mm. a tone to say that I'm a mm. child. Yeah. And so if I am a child, why to are you, you looking at the child? Why are you looking <laughs> at me in that <laughs> manner, <laughs> sir? And I said, raising my voice, like, why are you, look, like why you looking at me sexually, <laughs> sir? Shut up, my mom. If you're Shut up, my mom. That you're my looking at me sexually uh -huh. because, I like, no, are you my dad? This man is looking at me. And I even told myself, first of all, I'm not, you're not somebody that's going to tell me what, what, to, what wear. to wear, what not to wear. And I then think, they come to you for whatever. I think of the whatever. company that walk up to the line and be like, if you touch my private part, I will tell. <laughs> <laughs> if you touch my private part, I will tell. I will tell. This guy's a ghost. First conversation of the day, let's get into it. Yeah. On August 28th of 2021, British violinist Diane Adienne, um, who supported Burner Boy's show, posted a since edited caption on her Instagram page that the Grammy winning Nigerian superstar performed in front of an incredibly, in an incredible 12,000 people. A day later, Burner Boy took to his story to brag that I sold out O2 by myself at the price that I wanted, the way that I wanted, never talk too much, just show action. Says the man that's talking too much. But anyway, this led to a repost of social yeah. media that Odogo didn't actually sell out on the O2, which comes with a 20,000 capacity. After the circus on August 31st of 2021, this same lady has now issued a retraction of her statement. She has also deleted the caption where she said that Burner Boy only sold 12,000 slots. She has also posted a new video from Burner Boy August um, 28 event with the caption that reads, I would like to clarify again that I have no idea how many people were at the O2 Arena. It was a stupid estimation. It's not even a real number. The O2 capacity depends on the size of the stage and it and it and its um and its capacity during the COVID regulations as well. So I guess that makes sense. Even if it's a, even if it's a twenty thousand people capacity, so you can yeah. sell out twelve thousand and that will be sold out because of the capacity that, that was there. But yeah. I don't know if you've also seen like some like circle people are gathering circle saying, look at this whole layer here mm. empty. Mm. I don't know if you've seen that part as well. Do you understand what I'm trying to say now when I mentioned the last time that, that his talking talks was too much? Too much? Because if you not say what he said, nobody will be counting your seats at a freaking yeah. mall. And you, if, if somebody else will blow for you that, oh, you sold out. Whiskey nobody said he sold out. Nobody, you don't need to. You get it. Yeah. Whiskey that. said he sold out. Do we know if he sold out? Do we, do we, are we even talking about that? Like, are we talking mm. about Whiskey, the. Sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, okay. Oh. Whiskey mm. okay. never said it sold out. The fans came and they said. No, Whiskey said, no, he, sold said he sold out. He said he sold out. I said London. Official post, uh -huh. right? From O2 themselves. No, no Whiskey on no, his Instagram whiskey, was like, I love you, London. He said it. <laughs> He said it. He said it. Well, he said well, it. I, I think, okay, uh, uh, at least, uh, 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 wait, 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 wait a minute. Okay. At least O2 backed him up. O2 is not back Bonaboy. 
Wait till. Another thing, we saw fans that came out and said, Whiskey, you're lying. How can you be talking about 12 minutes? You saw that in two minutes. I was literally on the queue and then everything went out, right? That's the difference. Big moves, big wheeze. Are you getting it? <laughs> <laughs> you get it. You get it. I mean, you cannot compare both of them. You see, the thing is, you shouldn't even be comparing. I don't think it's up to the stars. There's something really, like, tacky for me when you're the one, like... Say, hey, look, I'm winning, or like, mm. I mean, I, there's a thin line. It's good to put your own wins on top because nobody's going to do that for you. But I, I already said it from the minute I saw that chat that it wasn't added, they loan, and yeah, 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 yeah. No, me, I was like, like for necessary, like, I'm not going to be a bona girl. I'm not going to be the devil's advocate here. No, you're just bona girl. Thank you, I'm just bona girl, yeah. Okay, so I feel like he was threatened. I think I said it. He was threatened because people were coming for him. When Whiskey sold out his concert, people were like, uh-uh, that burner has not still sold out. Burner has not shaking it. We're humans. You will get threatened and you might just say, oh, you might not start, you know. Okay, so should we give him a round of applause because, no. he, fe he, because he, he came can't. into pressure or no, something? No, but like, I'm saying that. Now you're saying. I'm trying to justify <laughs> his actions. No, Burner. But I'm his sorry. actions peer, are. Peer, peer pressure. He, <laughs> he, he <laughs> pressure. So, he gets into pressure. So, oh, so right, right, right. I understand. Oh, oh. I was for yourself. You've done I well. Mean, I mean. He's he, burner forever. I, I mean, just, uh, for sure. I've already, I've already said it on the table so many times. I like Burner Boy so much. I feel like his music is my number one. If I'm going to be real with any one Love. but i don't like every time he opens his mouth just used to do anyhow like baba big giant till now on top of all your wins you're still african. explaining no sorry don't that. put any big with african Bonner. giant so just african. this him. conversation today there's this big ways you know african big giant there's big sean continental you know, giant look at the people that are being big big World papa giant. notorious big you get big Wheeze. <laughs> Should we go on? First of all, his name is even Big Wheeze. His name is Whiskey. Why do I give him Big No, he changed his name to Big Wheeze. Where? No, because he's not going to do official like Kanye sure. West. That but it's not at least on your Instagram, man. It's Big Wheeze now, man. See, anything that has big, look at them. They're actually big. <laughs> Just look. I, I'm beginning and to take a big giant. See, <laughs> you, see, yeah, I, big. We have like five in this conversation. in this office, right? See, when you're talking about giants, we have people like um, David yeah. and Goliath. Goliath fell to a small David. Are you getting me? <laughs> so when you're talking what about are you giants, to say? Exactly. when you're talking what, what, about giants, no, where are you going with this conversation? We're talking about when you're talking about giants, you're talking about falls. But when you're talking about big, you're talking about big. When you're big, you're big and big. <laughs> hey, you wala. Wala. Yeah. Wala. I'm not wala. calling names. Wala. Wala. I'm anyway, not saying what it is. Shout out to all these people I, again and again. I feel like if you're if you're being compared about who's on top, I think all of you that are on that on that list are doing something right, isn't it? Because exactly. nobody is talking about. Let me not see anybody's name. Ah, nobody's talking Don't about say. that guy. You. What's up, this bad guy? Fame, munch it. Eh? Munch it. What's that? If it was happening. What's that? <laughs> what are you talking it? about? Because we're talking about David. David is making his wave as well. Who's talking, talking about David? I feel like David. He said Fem. He said munch it. What's munch it? Who's munch it? Tell us. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so I'm so sad. Is I, I cannot right? catch it because me, I open your mouth. I'll say the name for you. you know me. I don't know. I don't know who Munchie is. Munchie, I don't know. But <laughs> I, I know that nobody is talking about that guy. I, there's a lot of people that I feel like they should be talking about them, but they are not. Like who? Give me like Olamide, for example. I feel like Olamide no, is so hard. No, 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 no. Hmm. Never put Olamide in this mix. See, that's very disrespectful. Why? Why? To bring Olamide in a mix of Bonaboy, Whiskey, and Davido. Why? Why? Now. Olamide has always run his own race. Olamide, Who is it? Olamide is one person that you have to respect in the industry. Olamide is the Jay Z of the Nigerian music. Why are you gassing what? yourself? On what, on what no. ramifications? Me, on, on what ramifications? On the fact that this bro has done everything on his own without noise. Now, Olamide has always told you that he's the local boy, he's the one that will do it locally and it will still be big. Do you understand? So when Olamide walks in a room, you know Olamide walks in a room. So please, I don't even like disrespect on. I love whiskey, though. Eh? I, I think whiskey. I think for me, this this is a very no. sentimental conversation. To me, um, I'm not, yeah, actually. yeah. I feel like it's very underrated. It's underrated. Yes, 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 exactly. Yes. Fair. So again, you're. I think you're being sentimental to this conversation. No one's disrespecting what he's done. And the We're reason why I'm even bringing up his why name. Why are we not talking about The one reason I'm even bringing up his name is because. We're talking about the people he's brought up. How about that? Look at Fireboy. Look at what he's done with Fireboy. Look at what. You're you're, you're, you're losing the conversation. I met. Why is he not on the same exactly. table? How many of these three people with them? Can you name one artist to them? If I, name again, one again, to again, you're supposed to be exactly. You why are. Is he not, not on That's the same why we're radar. saying that he because should be on that. Because he's underrated, and I feel like hey, hey, hey. we're on the same table. <laughs> 
Okay, okay. I feel like I should. Come if you say I'll be a loomy. Dry jokes. I feel like this. Yeah. Dry jokes every day. I say this all the time. Anyway, this conversation. I don't know why we're having this conversation after such a nice thing, but it's a bit sad. Um, Greg Leakes. I don't know if you know him from Real Housewives. Mm. Um, he's the he's the husband of Nini Leakes from Real Housewives. He's died. Um, and has he, because after he um, protracted battle with colon cancer, he basically gave up the. What's the, how do you say that phrase? He gave up the, the ghost. ghost. He was 66 years old. Um, this is the quote from them. Today, the Lakes family is in deep pain with a broken heart. After a long battle with cancer, Greg Lakes has passed away peacefully in his home, surrounded by all of his children, very close loved ones, and wife, Nay Nay. After the publicist and family friend, Ernest Dukes, wrote in a, in a Wednesday statement to the Times, this guy was born and raised in Atlanta and built by Bravo as a self-taught businessman. Greg appeared with his wife, Nay Nay, who's 53, years old on the 12th season of the cable network reality TV franchise which chronicled their 2011 divorce, their 2013 reunion and over the top new towels in the wedding special titled I Dream of Nene. The real um, estate in, um, investor often served as the voice of reasoning on the show. The Real Housewives of Atlanta stars were <laughs> first married in 1997 and share a son called, um, his name is Brent. They also have children from previous relationships. Um, yeah, that's about that. Really sad, really sad because I remember, you know, they set the precedence for, you know, when you see a young girl and an older man and they just had a perfect relationship, yeah. you know, they had the breakup, they had the reunion, then they, they had, had the real marriage. real marriage and, you know, so I felt like, man, they were setting a precedence and I was really happy for the both of them. So the moment I saw that it was gone, I was like, I want this advantage of this and I know that man will say something. We still did. <laughs> we know they go anywhere yet. Yeah, not, <laughs> yeah, not, like, okay. Okay. No, not at all. No disrespect. But at the end of the day, it I just felt she's not that young now. She's at 50 something, 50 oh, for real? 53 or something. I think she's late 40s. I thought she was like, she's like 43. She was 43, maybe like 2013. No, she's, mm. 50, she's 50 something now, and early 50s, very early. And, young and then, then, then no, but the there is like um 17 years in between both of them 15 to 15 or 17 years. So between both I don't of know. Them. So That's it just it just scares me a lot because if you mm. look at a lot of widows, right. You find out that when their husband died and the age difference between them, you, it's expected. Do you understand? So if she's favor three, then it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, Do you understand? Yeah. But at the end of the day, man, I'm just saying that, man, for people that want to marry older men, you have to think with now you have to think okay i thought you were talking about you have to think about you know the yeah. repercussions this guy's not going to be around forever nobody leaves forever so you have yeah. to be ready do you understand so you know my heart really goes out to her because this guy was a vibe on you know yeah I, was I don't i don't know why no one is talking about it but their reunion or their recent marriage yeah the, yeah one of the biggest things about the show Dreaming was that Nene. no yeah yeah that yeah. one he made her sign a prenup actually mm. Um, so I yeah. want to know now. What's gonna <coughs> happen? You understand? Gonna happen? And it just happened recently. Yeah. Like, did you know? Yeah. It? But he's been battling with cancer since. Yeah, you know, he's been battling with cancer yeah. for, for, for a very, very long, long time. time. Mm. And I think the the obviously the prenup is to protect each other because they're both people. They're both people with assets, mm. and he doesn't want government to come telling him how to share but his money. As money. <laughs> of course, of, co yes. of this guy course. He's sold assets to most celebrities <laughs> he in has America. Much more asset than that. But I want to know what's going on because I'm pretty sure the way he died for me is one. I, I know that people don't really like to talk about death, but that's kind of like how I hope that. I do it earth, because yeah. I, I like that you know that it's coming. This yes. news has this has been in the mm -hmm. news for a long time. She mentioned to somebody that he's transitioning. So yeah. the doctors already obviously told him mm. treatment is not working. And so then you have clarity is coming. And I can do all this. Yeah. No, 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 you just wake up one day, no ma, no ma, everything Accident, is, you no understand, one, and one you're one just thing. gone like that. Nothing is really settled. So I'm sure he had the time to like settle scores, balance out books and checks and all that kind of stuff. So maybe this is me but just being silly a little bit. But I want to know, like, okay, so what's, what's going to happen? happen? I feel property? like maybe she won't remarry though, because like maybe she wants to get the benefits oh. of the prenup. So mm -hmm. she might just want to stay on her own, right. single. And she's really old though. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So I mean, she would just want to stay on her own and get the benefits and all of that. Mm. And what you said about death. Like there's, I'm sorry to say, but there's no better way to leave the earth. I feel like if you're if you're going to die and you know you can prepare for it, like now Absolutely. he even had the prenup, he did everything he had to do, yeah. even what he had done for his children as yeah. well and all of that. But then when you now wake up one day, you're going out and then you get into an accident, you don't even know. You told someone yeah. bye, and then next thing you hear. 
this person is dead. Yes, that, it, 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 it hits. It that hits. It because all the, he said, they mentioned that all the kids were there. Like, if you watch they the show, they're never, there. all the kids are they're never, never there. there. But then so now you even have the time to say, oh, okay, my dad is going. Let me have time. Not that you're like, you get a call or something. This reminds me of a post I saw, you know, on social media where, you know, a UK doctor was saying that, look, it cost about $45,000. I mean, for the five thousand pounds to transfer a body from the UK to Nigeria. Damn. Wow. Do you understand? And if you know you're living there and you want to be buried in Inewi, <laughs> please, by all means, can you make provision for it and stop stressing your family members? Mm. Do you get what I mean? Like, mm. if you keep know I want to be buried in Nigeria, please, can you at least because say, forty five thousand pounds? Are you joking? What? But, but I'm, I'm you know, they don't have to transport your body fair. They've not put casket or they've not done no big kubana burial. They've not. Are you yeah. getting what I mean? You now die. You now leave people in debt. I think the first thing I'm going to say is that I do not want it to be kubana burial. What? The, what? What? What is that? <laughs> That if I don't want to see anybody that's not actually my friend there, like, don't want me to do fake tears for me. Mm. Keep it very simple. Very Five, six, simple, seven people, yeah. dance, play my favorite song. Let me be Sing doing... Some hymns. Like 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 yeah. 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 And yeah. they call it a day. Why are you wasting exactly. money? What's the meaning of that? But so anyway. Seven days, baby. You understand? Like, like, am I going on a journey of no return? Already, I'm on a journey of no return. So, why are you doing it? Why are you celebrating me on a no return? You understand? If you want to go and have your own party because all you it's fitting you that I've died and you want to go and celebrate me. Maybe do that one, but at least just give me a, an actual, yeah, intimate. Mm. Let people actually like who love me but mourn me because I'm pretty sure that Oba Obi Kapana thing had nothing to do with the of mom. Like, not. anyway, let's mm. go on a quick music break because I need to, you know, focus. Focus. Let's go.